Hey guys, it's Arthur from My Sake Adventures and I'm really excited to share another sake with you. Um, this one is actually called um, Aza Azakura um, from Akita in Yokote specifically. So it's called Azakura, which literally means, uh, I don't know what the a uh means, but it's Sakura is cherry blossom. And this is a Tokubetsu Jinmaishu. Here, let me turn this for you guys. This is a Tokubetsu Jinmaishu, you know, something that I really like. And I really like Tokubetsu Jinmaishu because it has a lot of various flavors in it. When you go to um, Ginjo or Dai Ginjo, it tends to zero in on one specific flavor. But I like the variety. So when I'm trying a new sake or a new brand, I try to focus on the Tokubetsu know, Jinmai or just regular Jinmai. Now, something that's unique about this one is this is a Genshu, Muroka Genshu. Muroka means unfiltered, and Genshu means sake that has not been watered down. You know, actually, normally, when people make sake, they want to get it to about a 15% alcohol content, so they tend to water the sake down. But Genshu is a sake that has not been watered down. But, you know, when I check this out, it's actually... Um, it's only 16%, so I thought it would be more, but it's not. Another thing about this is that this uses Akita Komachi rice, 100%. And Akita Komachi is a very famous, popular type of rice. It's one of the, one of the good rices that's used for um, making sake. And, you know, I kind of, I really like this. So, like I said, because this is Muroka Genshu, um, it's going to have a little bit of a deeper color than normal. Here, let's pour this for you guys. Yeah, look at that. It's got like a nice yellow color. I'm not too sure if you can see from the um, from the background here. Let me let me go get a sheet of paper quickly. Yeah, let me let me slide this guy underneath here. You can see just how yellow this is. You know, it's a beautiful color. I really like this sake. So let's see let's see what it tastes like. Okay, so first I'm gonna smell it a little bit. Hmm. Oh, wow, it's very sweet. Um, it's got a it's got a lot of sweetness, and then it has a very complex body to it afterwards, and it has a really nice kind of like sweet licorice aftertaste that kind of stays in your mouth for a really long time. Um, this is a sake that I really like. When I opened this a few days ago, it had a really strong like alcohol afterbite that you get from like vodka or something, but. I mean, that's what normally happens in my experience with sake that you just open. A lot of people say that you should open sake and drink it immediately, but I like to wait a few days for it. So that's something that you can try on your own. Now, as I'm having this, this was bottled um, Reiwa Nine, so 2020, um, in Hachigatsu, so in, uh, Octo in August. So that was about three months ago. So it's got a nice kind of um, full-bodied flavor coming out of it because it's been aging for a few months there. This has a um, Seimai Buai of 60%, um, so this has been polished down 40%, that's why it's Tokubetsu. Normally, Jinmai is like 35% um, or 30% or anything beneath that. Anything above 60% or more is Tokubetsu Jinmai, special Jinmai. And um, yeah, I think this is really great. You guys should really Check this out. If you like sweet sake and you want to have something that has a little bit of a complexity of taste, then um, I would really recommend Azakura's uh, Yokote. And uh, yeah, go check it out. Normally, I really recommend um, any sort of sake from Tohoku, from the Tohoku region for people who like sweet sake and for people who like karakuchi, for people who like more dry sake, more from the southern, um, southern prefectures is better. But yeah. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, a link to the to the page for this sake is in the description box, so check it out. And uh, yeah, let's keep on exploring sake together. Thanks.